Good morning, everybody, and we're back with WCI today. Now, I wanted to do something real quick. The guys are just working in behind. We're actually at this massive house. This thing is gorgeous. There's so many big houses in here. But uh, you guys need to tell Greg down in the comments below that he needs to be driving a Toyota. I don't know what he's thinking driving a Ford. A lot of you guys in the comments are going to hate that I said that. There's Dale. Dale, how's it going? Good to see you. Where's your dancing shoes? Come on, I need those dancing shoes on. How's it going? Hey? Okay, you're not on TV, don't worry, it's YouTube. Greg's got a 316 cat. I love seeing the cat here. It's a beautiful machine. Somebody was scratching on the counterweight with it, but that's a beautiful machine. I like the cats. This is the septic of the place. This is the backyard and the pool is going right here. It's going in this general area right there. So what they're gonna do is bring a crane in and then boop, pop her in. But man, really nice house. <laughs> back of a Dodge. <laughs> that is big, eh? <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that color. I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. It's got a nice glitter to it. Love that. It's a big hot tub. Basically, a big hot tub. It's a big yeah. hot tub. Yeah, exactly. So how did they pick it up? Yeah, they're hooked. The hook up one crane will have uh, spreaders. Oh, here. Yeah. Oh, the crane guy, the crane guy will have spreader bars. Said. I'm just worried about that thing snapping off. I don't know what they. Uh, I guess you'll, you'll oh. crane it back here. And we'll yeah. Okay. No, but this is this is gonna be strong enough. Dave, come on. Yeah. And we'll put the stone right over it, eh, Greg? Yeah. So what we're doing, this thing here is going into the backyard. The crane's on its way that's gonna be lifting it, but uh, it should be pretty interesting actually. I'm glad Greg reached out for this. Yeah, yeah the manufacturer in Tennessee. So what do you do, you ship them in? So they're like couple the working camp. No, they make them in Tennessee and what happens is right there, this guy will go down or maybe there's another driver up and they'll stack them inside each other. Oh, okay, like keep work. down freight, keep the cost well, reasonable. Well, if you don't, it's, what is it, 20,000 load now to get it here? Yeah. So they put 13 on load and they can absorb that cost, not absorb it, put it divide, in the divide, pool divide, and then it's yeah. not, not so bad, right? Yeah. Wow. So, <laughs> that's why occasionally you'll get one with yeah. the scuff oh, mark on the inside <laughs> and the styrofoam yeah, where the carpet was on the inside and it buffs off or whatever. Wow. Yeah. So, and then basically what Greg was saying is they're going to come out of here, this access here, and then they're finished grade, they're going to put a cap on top of this, and then it'll all just be flush right out. It's hard to visualize if you're not kind of in the industry to be able to foresee and visualize stuff like that. Um, and then this is obviously all getting built up. Actually, Greg, I want to I I come back whenever you guys are done, because it'll be really cool to show. Oh, yeah. Sure. Greg does a lot of these... Uh, Awesome, like landscaping projects and stuff. Great. How long you've been doing landscaping for? How long? Twenty-eight years now. Twenty-eight years. So you're uh, what they call a professional. Somewhat. Yeah. First day. Yeah, first day. I'm on the job first day. Yeah. <laughs>
faster. Yeah, wow. That pickup is way faster. So he's gonna set up here and go over the house. I'm interested in the process on how they uh, actually hook up the pool to this. Get back. Hey. All right, the crane booms in the air. They're driving the pool in right now, and then they're gonna pick it and lift it. That's the pool. This little end part was the only part. He's going through his paces, winching up and down. Wow, that is high. I think it's a 90 ton crane. I think that's what they said, it was 90. don't want to interfere because this is what they're doing right now is they're leveling it out making sure that everything's all level with the way that it's sitting so it's kind of a 
very precise uh, stage of doing it. So I don't want to interfere and be in the way with shit. That was a really, really cool process. I'll recap everything when I'm leaving, but this is the crane truck, he's packing all up. He's done his job. I didn't get talking to him, but I wanted to uh, talk to him real quick and just see how long he's been doing it. And I always like doing that on a job site. You always find really interesting people. It's cool. Coming in, yeah, flex. I just wanna win, yeah. LA BB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes, damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain, stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh huh, coming in. Yeah. You got a nice view from up here. The, uh, the owner just, uh, he's like, hey, actually, you come up here and get a shot from up here. It's really nice. Man, this house is incredible. Like, this is exactly the style that I would want. Nice, nice and open. And then these are glass panels. This is actually a glass panel here that opens up seamless. There's the rails on the top, rails at the bottom. Those will obviously be finished in the floor. You won't even see those. I think that is a very, very cool touch. But this job's going good. They're not going to fill the pool completely. They're just gonna fill it up probably just a tad bit more. And then uh, that's why Greg's uh, back filling around the edge there now. So I'm just walking here now with Dave from Sandy Salt and Greg, WCI Greg. You guys have seen him before. So now we just, you guys, this whole video that you just watched to kind of summarize it and to talk about it. So uh, this pool is actually out of uh, this company here, Imagine Pools. Um, and actually you can get this type of pool through Dave from Sandy Salt. He actually is a distributor would be the right word. Yeah, distributor right for word. these types of pools. And what he was actually just kind of uh, discussing and talking about an interesting conversation with another guy that was here was talking about the pros and the cons, or mostly the pros, to doing a new kind of pool system like this versus uh, a steel and vinyl, um, your classic kind of way to do a pool. So what are your kind of pros yeah. to doing a system like this? I mean, pros, I think it's, uh, it's the way of the future. I mean, uh, the installation's a lot quicker. Uh, yeah. You can go from start to finish around five days. Uh, durability, you never have to worry about a liner. Uh, screwing up your liner, getting holes in your liner. Yeah. Uh, the fiberglass, the composite fiberglass uh, versus the vinyl liner uses a lot less chemicals. 
Uh, so maintenance down the road, uh, better insulation factor too, so a lot less to, to heat. And you were saying it's R, R40? R4, yeah, R40. Oh, well that's really yeah. good. Yeah. And all the work that was actually done at this, Greg, was this your first one doing this? Yeah, this is our first install of a fiberglass. Okay, nice. And in conjunction, you guys, like this went, how would you guys do anything better or different next time now that you've kind of seen the process? So far, I think everything's going great. Yeah, yeah I think I would uh, agree. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So everything went well. Yeah. So Dave from Sandy Sol, thank you for letting me film today. I really appreciate that. Thank you. You guys need out. anything? I'll put his website and all your kind of info down below uh, in the description down below. You guys can reach him through there. Greg, same as always. I'll put all this stuff down below. Thank you very much for having thank us you. out today, man. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Woo. All right, guys. So now I'm back in my truck, headed back to the yard. Oh, that's blinking fast. I got a blinker out blinker but uh that was really awesome you know that was probably one of the coolest kind of content normally whenever i say that i say that something's going to be really awesome it always ends up like not doing great but i truly think that that was something kind of unique that you guys got to see um but yeah again a big shout out to dave thank you so much dave from sandy Sol. he's actually the owner he founded that business he worked super hard i wish i got it on camera but again he wasn't like He's never really like, I never I didn't want to put him on the spot uh, with the camera and everything like that. But he had a really interesting, uh, I had a really interesting conversation with him just talking about uh, how we started the business. And, and you know, he basically he started when he was 18 and uh, he just grinded and hustled and worked so hard and act to build this company up. And uh, it's a very reputable company. He does very well for himself. And, and you know, it's really great to see that and hear that for myself being a young, you know, kind of business guy, uh, taking over a family business and just really kind of looking at seeing and understanding the, the work, the amount of work that actually goes into being successful and the amount of work that goes into uh, a business and a successful business at that. Uh, and that being said, I want to say Greg too. Big shout out. Thank you so much, Greg. Greg is the key to this because he's the one who we did the paving video with. And then he's like, hey, I got something really cool. He doesn't have to get let me, you know, go there and film. And yes, it's good exposure for him and his business. I saw a couple comments on the, the video last time. People asking for him to pave his laneway. But again, it's another guy who's worked his ass off his whole life and he continues to do that every day and it's paying off. He's a very successful guy. So it's really awesome. And I love surrounding myself around those types of people. They were really two great guys. Uh, awesome, interesting conversations. Always talking to guys like that. Guys who are making a difference in this world. You know, they're not just sitting around watching the days go by. They're out there working, making a difference, making things happen. Uh, and anyway, so I just wanted to touch on that, kind of summarize the day. It was super, super cool to be there and to see that. Um, so again, thanks to everyone who allowed me to go there and do that. That was the end of the video, guys. Make sure you guys are subscribed. It, let's hit 10K by the end of the month. I really think we can do it. So get your friends to subscribe. You hit subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys want to see, what you guys thought. Let me know down below. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yo, uh, coming in. Coming in coming yeah. In. And no, I didn't forget about you guys, the true patriots of this channel that watched the entire video to the very end, which is literally right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I want you to comment down below, crane it. Why crane it? <laughs> because we had a massive 90 ton crane in there today, craning a pool over a massive beautiful beautiful home so if you watch the entire video comment down below crane it i appreciate you guys catch you on the next one Woo! Back off it. see the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin money clip i tossed it i heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming uh -huh. coming in yeah flex i just wanna win yeah l.a.b.b who we running with yeah two two three three i'm on ten again pump up